Hello, Joel Lindstrom here with another Power Platform answer. When I'm building Power Apps, my history is in common data service. I came from the Dynamics 365 world, and so I will say I still prefer common data service for more complex apps with lots of relationships, but I've warmed up to SharePoint in a big way as I've had customers, I've helped build apps on SharePoint and other things like that. I've come to appreciate how quick it is to create lists and build apps on top of it. I've come to appreciate some of the data types that you have in SharePoint that you don't have in other, other places, like the person field, for example making it very easy to work with compared to say the user entity inside of uh, common data service. So I'm not one that says you should always use common data service. I do feel like uh, if you're going to build something more relationship heavy or um, a larger application or relational database makes sense. But if it's something with one or two or three tables, then I think something like SharePoint can work well. So if I'm building an app for, for that, here's a question that I had originally, and then I've been asked a number of times, not necessarily in the forums, but other places, is how do I create this list and give access to just the list to somebody versus sharing the entire site with someone? Because if I go to my site, to my list, and so for example, let's say I'm building a app of dog medical records, because why not? Dogs need apps too. Uh, but if I want to say, share my app with someone, I've got to also share this list. And it's not really obvious here what you do. Now, if you're a SharePoint person, this is probably 101 for you. So forgive me and you can skip to the next video if you don't know this. But for the rest of us, uh, what I had to hunt around to find and even searching online, it's not really obvious. There's not a lot of great posts I found that, that explain this, maybe because it's too obvious. But again, if you're watching this video, chances are it's, it's not obvious to you. So what you need to look for is down here in the corner, there's this return to classic SharePoint. The modern SharePoint experience doesn't give as many options. You can see there's, there's, no, um, there's no share button here. So what do I do? What you do is go to classic SharePoint. This gives you classic SharePoint uh, that you might remember from uh, the past, including the ribbon. You remember the ribbon? It's fun. But if I expand the list part of the ribbon and go to um, shared with, here I can see all the people that it's shared with, which includes everybody that has access to the site. But if I just want to give access to just this list, I can go invite people and I can choose the property of what they can have. And let's just say I wanted to add Hart Batia, the power addict. Let's add him. And then let's uh, share the list. So now that I've shared the list with him, then I can go exit classic experience. Now, if I share my app with him, uh, he will see the app even if he's not a member of the site. So I hope that helped. Again, simple tip this time, but something that I think will save you a lot of time. And uh, I think biggest thing is avoid oversharing, like sharing the entire site, especially if you want to use the same site for multiple apps. This way I can selectively share the lists that people need with them or with groups without sharing the entire site. So I'm Joel Lindstrom. Thanks for watching. See you around the community.